We now have text to 3D in Discord. Oprah's new AI browser is here called Aria. Here's Google's new AI advertising tools. Stop making a website the normal way. Use AI instead. The Microsoft Build 2023 event was a game changer. So here are five things you need to know. This AI technology is stupid. Stop using apps to learn a new language. Use ChatGPT instead. We now have text to 3D in Discord. The bot is called Latent Labs. All I need to do is write 3D and the prompt I could, for example, do a burger. You can also use slash search 3D to get all the burgers made before. Damn, that's looking juicy. So how does this revolutionary bot work? Well, it harnesses the power of Shap E that is continually improving itself based on user feedback. With just a few simple commands, you can now generate game assets, 3D printable objects, or anything your creative mind desires. We should appreciate the progress we've made in text to 3 d It's mind-blowing how far we've already come. Oprah's new AI browser is here called Aria. It's now available as a free service in early access for our PC and mobile browsers starting today. But what's unique about Aria? Aria is native to the Opera browser. It can do live web search, generate text code, and provide Opera users with browser support. Aria is based upon Opera's own composer infrastructure, which allows us to connect to OpenAI's GPT technology. It's also easily expandable, allowing Aria to connect to multiple AI models in the future. It does not have access to any of your browsing data outside of the chat box. It's live today and available in over 180 countries without a waitlist. Here's Google's new AI advertising tools. Helps you find customers now on Google AI will help you multiply creative performance. So it seems like they are using some of the tools we've seen already, like for example, transforming your product images, increase the resolution. So apparently you can enhance it. You can remove the background, which we've already seen a lot. You can put a cat in front of a planet. So you, you can use the image generation, um, things like Dolly or them using probably Adobe Firefly generate better copy so here you can chat with Google Ads and you can get some ideas and images for your campaign so can we make the headlines more playful enhance your video now what are you gonna do here uploading it to drive it looks like this being the first video and then you can get some text templates on top generate voiceover probably good for your cat Luxury female, Spanish female. So this is AI language probably. You can even resize the video into the other aspect ratios. Scale your creative. So here they are generating AI images to make the ad strength excellent. Then we can launch the campaign. And as you can see, it enters in the top of the maps on top of Google search. And also you can see here sponsored cat food. You can also see all the different places. Like for example, YouTube ads are gonna be huge with this. And obviously people pay for the ad and your marketing. Multiply by Google AI. Google ads. This was inevitable. It's good to see that Google is actually catching up in the AI space and giving out these tools. Stop making a website the normal way. Use AI instead. Look, all you have to do is to go to this AI website builder, click on generate your website. Now you can see generate with AI. It's setting up the hosting. It's installing WordPress. Now let's begin. Now we just click on generate with AI. Business type, digital agency. We can select between these three templates. I'm gonna choose the first one. Company name, describe your company. Service feature one. Now it wants us to add three main services. Company email, phone number, and all that jazz. Let's make the tone of voice informal. And we can finalize. Congrats, let's see the website. 
Wow, it created a headline and it actually created a custom image. 4.8 stars, testimonials, and you also have our services right here. And the coolest part is that it's all customizable in Elementor. So if I just want to change this, I can just click on here and I can change this to whatever I want. It even added the home services about and contact page. This is definitely the easier way. So go to 10web.io slash AI dash website dash builder to check it out. Spotify may use AI to make host red podcast ads that sounds like real people. With Spotify's AI DJ, the company trained an AI on a real person's voice. Now the streamer may turn that same technology to advertising. The streaming service is developing AI technology that will be able to use a podcast host voice to make host read ads without the host actually having to read and record the ad copy. Simmons made statements on the episode of the Bill Simmons podcast saying there is going to be a way to use my voice for the ads. You have to obviously give the approval for the voice, but it opens up from an advertising span standpoint all these different great possibilities for you it can bring for example geo target ads like tickets for local events in the listener city or even create ads in different languages with the host's permission the ai landscape is evolving quickly on spotify which has a long history of innovation is exploring a wide array of applications, including our hugely popular AI DJ feature. That said, Spotify has already hinted that the AI DJ in the app today would not be the only AI voice users would encounter in the future. When Jernigan was recently asked about Spotify's plans to work with other voice models going forward, he teased stay tuned spotify please allow ai music the microsoft build 2023 event was a game changer so here are five things you need to know first microsoft introduced copilot to windows this will mean a new ai powered assistant living in windows that can change your settings it can open spotify it can send messages on your behalf through different apps. Second, Bing Chat plugins. They're coming to Windows. Similar to ChatGPT plugins, Microsoft announced several new plugins that are coming to Bing Chat, including Expedia, Kayak, and Zillow. Number three, we got a dev home for developers. The dev home makes it easy to connect to GitHub and set up the machine to code, easily installing the tools and packages needed with Dev Home, developers will now be able to focus on what they do best, writing code. Number four, they announced the Bing Chat to ChatGPT. So in the top, as you can now see, if you click in the settings, the web integration is done with Bing Chat. Lastly, Microsoft Fabric, which is an AI-powered integrated analytics platform that unifies experiences, lowers costs, and accelerates intelligence deployment. This is everything a data scientist needs and also to gain insights from their data and make better decisions. Stop using apps to learn a new language. Use ChatGPT instead. Step number one is to write this prompt. Act as a spoken French teacher and improver. I will speak to you in French and you will reply to me in French to practice my spoken French. Translate your answers into English to help me only if I ask you. To begin, it starts asking you a question in French and you have to answer. Here is the answer and just like that, it actually has a little correction to what he just wrote. Now you can explain my mistake in English and obviously now you can probably understand the explanation. Also, if you have access to GPT-4, you can get the speech key plugin and then if you start off with the same prompt, you can actually hear them speak to learn it even faster. D'accord, commençons. Pouvez-vous me dire ce que vous avez fait hier? Google DeepMind launches Flamingo, changing the way you watch YouTube shorts. How to find trending videos with AI. Meet Flamingo, our powerful AI virtual language model. It generates metadata descriptions for YouTube shorts using natural language. Given a visual and text prompt, Flamingo predicts the most likely completion of that prompt, making this information more useful and accurate. What does that mean for viewers? Shorts will become more searchable on YouTube. So the problem here being that 
They don't have that big of a description or a title, but now they can see that. So audience can discover more videos from around the world and creators can get their shorts discovered without any extra effort. Flamingo is now generating descriptions for all new shorts. So what will you watch next with a little help from AI? Google DeepMind. Very happy to see YouTube's algorithm getting better, continuing to increase the distribution of creators' content and making it easier for the viewer to watch exactly what they want. This AI technology is stupid. Look, you can now put some points on a dog and AI is going to recreate the entire picture for you, including the background, foreground, how the dog moves. This is just crazy. The car gets different and it gets like a different model based on where you move it around. Come on. This is just ridiculous. You can even get the eyes of the cat to close the legs of an elephant to move and even bring a smile. I can't even do that with language. You can change the bangs and close your eyes, little girl. What if you just don't like how big your skirt is or your posture or how long your jacket is? Come on, this is absolutely insane. Even on the bacterial level, you can shrink things. Thanks for watching today's AI news. Watch yesterday's video by clicking here and I'll see you tomorrow. Peace.